Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn and my channel's Making with Marilyn. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit different on this video and that's to show you how to print from Inkscape. I had a YouTube friend of mine ask me to show her step-by-step -step how you do this and so that's what I'm going to do in this video. Now so many crafters want to print from Cricut because that's what they know but as you might know, you're limited in size due to Cricut's print and cut restrictions. So even if you're not going to cut the image, Cricut limits the size you can print, unless you figure out a workaround. So let me start by showing you the image that I'm going to print. Now this is an image that I bought off of Etsy. And I'm going to use it to make one of those purse tumblers. I made one in a video the other day. I loved it. It was pretty easy. So now I want to make a second one. Well, you might think, why don't you just print from the preview screen? Well, a couple reasons. First of all, the only way to resize this is by using the scale. So you're really guessing by saying, okay, I'm gonna print it at 90% scale or 70% scale, exactly how large that's going to be. I want something more precise. And then second of all, Patrice with Craftable Things, I think she did an experiment where she printed from the preview screen versus she printed from an actual design software, probably Illustrator, and the quality was better when you used an actual software. So let me close this out and show you exactly how you print from Inkscape. Okay, I'm opening Inkscape, and the first thing I want you to know is Inkscape is a free design software. So the fact that it's free is awesome. It is similar to Adobe Illustrator with some less features, not quite as robust, because it's free. But I absolutely love it. I actually have Adobe Illustrator, and because I learned on Inkscape, that's what I prefer. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can get your images into Inkscape. You can go to File, and then you can say Open, or I see what I want to bring into Inkscape. It's on my desktop. So I'm just gonna drag it over. And it's that file I showed you just a minute ago. All right, from this screen, I just say, okay. And there it is. Now there's a couple things I need to do to be able to print this. First of all, right now, my template is 12 by 12. What I need to do is go up to File, Document Properties, and I need to find the size of paper that I'm actually going to print on. Today, I'm going to print on 8.5 by 11. So I'll click on that, and then I hit the red X. All right, so if I drag my purse out of the way, you can see my template changed. Now it's 8.5 by 11. Now I want to resize my file so that it prints the right size. What I have found from my tumblers, and it is Tumblr brand specific, is that I want my width to be 8.1 inches. And then since this is unlocked, I can just hit the tab button. It'll go over to height, and I want my height to be 9.2 inches. Again, this is very specific to your Tumblr brand. Okay, I did that backwards. I want my width to be 9.2, and then I want my height to be 8.1. All right, that's better. Now notice how it's off the page or off my template. If I were to print now, what you see inside my 8.5 by 11 paper would print, but this would get cut off. So in my case, what I need to do is, with my item selected, I'm going to go up to Object, and I'm just going to rotate it so that it actually fits on the page. Now last thing for me, since I'm sublimating this, I also need to go to Object and flip it horizontally. Then I'm going to make sure it's still on my page, and it is. Now from this point, you're just going to use the same settings that you typically use for printing. So if you haven't learned to print from a design software before or some type of software where you feel like you're getting the best results or you can change the size of your print, I hope you'll try this out. I'm not an expert in Inkscape, but if you have a question, please leave it in the comment section. I will try to answer it. If I don't know the answer, I'll let you know that as well. Thanks again for joining me, and until my next video, Bye-bye.